Thank you very much, Ann. Um, uh, Spitz, the Spitzer Space Telescope, uh, in fact, has uh, revealed an incredible area of massive star formation. And uh, uh, in this one region alone, there's uh, well over 300 uh, star formation regions that's currently, that's currently making stars. And uh, we're incredibly excited about this because no one, in, in my team at least, and no astronomers that I know, I think could ever in their wildest dreams have expected to find a, a single region like this with so many uh, stars currently in the process of, of uh, being built. What you see in this, in this uh, uh, zoom uh, is the, this nebula in going from visible light to, mid infra, uh, to near infrared to mid uh, infrared uh, light. And uh, the, we end up, ended up there with uh, the image that Spitzer, in fact, uh, sees of this nebula. We go to the next slide. I'm going to show you uh, now a picture of this cluster with all of the protostars encircled. And you see there that the, this whole region is just uh, littered. It's like you know, a, a, a salt shaker been, has been uh, put down on this image. There's uh, well over 300 uh, protostars that are presently uh, forming in this cluster. And as I say, this is beyond our wildest dreams. We're going to zoom in on uh, a small portion of the nebula that's indicated there by the box. And this is now zoomed in on that portion. And uh, you'll see there that uh, there are stars here of all colors. This is what we think the youngest objects in uh, a region like uh, Taurus look like. It's a uh, thick, very dusty disk surrounded by an envelope uh, with a star in the middle. And uh, uh, things are still falling in. The envelope's falling into the disk. The disk is falling into the star. Uh, the news here is that uh, we've seen the building blocks of, uh, of habitable planets first, for the first time unambiguously in uh, uh, fairly low mass, fairly low luminosity uh, infant systems that uh, by their mass and luminosity look like they're going to turn out to be like our sun and therefore the building blocks might go into uh, something that looks like our solar system. The object is only a million years old, and if the planet formed in, uh, the million, within the million years that it took between star formation and when we're seeing it now, that uh, probably makes it the youngest planet that we've ever seen. Thanks, Ed and Dan. So, uh